It's just sitting in the account. They got millions sitting in the bank account. They're like, bro, it's not growing. So, yeah. so where we, I, I love being able to educate people and show them what is out there other than the oh, stock yeah. market. Because you let Charles Schwab, Merle Lynch, Edward Jones know that you got a couple million, they are gonna like. I, I'm not gonna say harass you, but they're they're not they're gonna pressure you and pressure you and pressure you to put it in the stock market stock because market, they, get, yeah. they get paid for money under management, okay, mm -hmm. or assets under management, and they're gonna charge between one and two uh, two two and a half percent fees yeah. on the lump sum, um, mm -hmm. and that fee is gonna continue to go up, guys. Uh, we educate you uh, on a financial strategy a concept an idea called the indexing strategy where you're going to get the highs of the market just as you would with the financial advisor in the market but you never have to lose guys mm -hmm. the financial advisor just go to them if your money's currently sitting with a financial advisor just ask them can you guarantee me that i'm never going to lose my principal and if they can't guarantee you that why are you with them right exactly you can't afford to lose anything guys you remember 2007, 2008, when the stock market dropped 58.67%? Took five years for people to break even. That could have been five years. They could have been compounding their income, compounding their hard-earned money, doubling it. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Uh, we got to learn from, from, from either our own experiences and failures, or we can learn from other people's experiences and failures. I hope you choose to learn from somebody else's experiences and failures. Learn from other people. Yes, absolutely.